Well, James Retray has certainly enjoyed a stellar career in harness racing, winning some of the biggest races on the harness racing calendar. He had the biggest thrill of his life a couple of weeks ago when he became a father for the first time. I caught up with James to have a chat about fatherhood and his chances as far as driving here at Club and Angle on Tuesday. Well, James, congratulations to you and your partner Fiona Cox, who is a well-known and respected vet here at Club and Angle. Beautiful little girl. Yeah, thank you. Um, two weeks old now, baby Estelle, and yeah, mum and Bubba home and everyone's doing great. James, you've timed your run in numerous feature races to perfection, but particularly with bow tied. You did it once again here with fatherhood because just in time for Mother's Day, so Fiona hopefully had a wonderful day. Yeah, that's it. Um, first mother, Mother's Day with the newborn, it was very exciting and um, yeah, we, we couldn't be happier. You know you're alive now, James? Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, um, little girl. She's a couple of restless nights, but overall been very good. Plenty more of them, James. Now, over the past few weeks, we've been celebrating McGrath Foundation in raising money for that particular foundation and also awareness for breast cancer. But you've been getting around in the pink pants. Was, it, was that an early baby reveal? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't planned, but, um, yeah, it's worked out good that way. <laughs> no doubt the pressure on to drive plenty of winners, and you're backing up on Tuesday, driving a couple for... Brad Abbott, now you're going to need to be at your very, very best here in race six, number two, the Golden Cross. Yeah, he um, he put in a really good run last week, and um, yeah, I'd, I think he'll be thereabouts on that run. Now you're getting the chance to drive Don Boston, the old veteran, 290 starts, 291 coming Tuesday. What a remarkable record, James. 202 of those races have been here. He's won 26 of his 45 wins at this particular venue. Yeah, uh, Brad's put me on before and we got a win a few years ago and um, no, it's good to be back on the old boy. He's a yeah, marvellous old old horse. And he doesn't show the same dash as he used to, probably that day that you drove him, James, but he's still competitive. Oh yeah, he's, he's a great trier, like he, he always puts in and gives it what he's got. Yeah, well, Brad was saying he just doesn't like retirement. <laughs> no, he, um, yeah, he wants to be out doing a bit and racing and he loves it. Anything from your stable we should be looking at in the coming weeks or in particular next week? Um, uh, I've got a, a Millie's creation at Canberra. She trialled quite nicely here on Wednesday and I think she'll go on and, and do a pretty good job. Well, you'll need a few winners, James. The price of nappies. You'll have to get those winners coming in thick and fast now. Yeah, we'll have to keep the team racing and trying to get a few winners. Once again, James, congratulations to you and Fiona and uh, many, many happy years with Estelle. Thanks very much.